Going to discuss the UK one shilling 1962. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Coin and its value at Heritage Auction. The UK one shilling 1962 coin is a valuable piece of history that is coveted by collectors all over the world. The shilling was a popular denomination in the UK before decimalization in 1971. Let's talk about its value at Heritage Auction. The UK one shilling 1962 coin is a rare and sought after coin. It has a high numismatic value due to its age, rarity, and historical significance. At the Heritage Auction, the UK one shilling 1962 coin was sold for a whopping $700,000. You may wonder why this coin fetched such a high price. Well, there are several reasons. Firstly, the 1962 shilling is a scarce coin. Secondly, the coin is in an excellent condition, which is always a plus point for collectors. Thirdly, the demand for vintage coins is increasing every day, making them a sound investment. It's the UK half-penny coin from 1941 in good condition. First, let's take a closer look at this beautiful coin. As you can see, it features the portrait of King George VI on the obverse, and on the reverse, we have the iconic image of a seated Britannia holding a trident. The design is intricate, and the coin itself is made of bronze. Now, let's step back in time to 1941. The United Kingdom was in the midst of World War II, facing many challenges on the home front. The halfpenny, or hapenny as it was commonly called, was an important denomination during this period. It was used for everyday transactions and played a significant role in the economy. During the war, there was a shortage of copper, which affected the production of coins. The UK government decided to reduce the size of the halfpenny, and as a result, the 1941 halfpenny was minted in a smaller size compared to previous years. This makes it somewhat more unique and desirable to collectors. Now, let's talk about the value of the UK halfpenny coin from 1941 in good condition. To get an idea of its worth, we can look at recent auctions. One of the most reputable auction houses for coins is Heritage Auctions. They have an extensive database and provide insights into the market value of rare coins like this one. Based on the data from Heritage Auctions, a UK half-penny coin from 1941 in good condition can fetch a value of around $70,000 to $90,000 in an auction setting. However, it's important to note that this value can vary depending on factors such as the overall condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. The UK One Penny 1911 in Black Shade This particular coin has garnered quite a buzz in the numismatic world. We need to understand its background. This coin was minted over a century ago during the reign of King George V. It features a distinctive black shade which sets it apart from its standard bronze counterpart. The reason behind this unique coloring remains somewhat of a mystery, adding an air of intrigue to its allure. Recently a specimen of the UK one penny 1911 in black shade made its way to the prestigious heritage auction. The UK one penny 1911 in black shade is a truly exceptional find. The black coloring is believed to be the result of an early experimental process or a minting error. Whatever the case, coins like this are incredibly scarce, making them highly sought after by collectors. Absolutely. What makes this particular coin even more valuable is its excellent preservation. Despite its age, the details are remarkably sharp and the black shade remains intact. Coins from this era, especially in such remarkable condition, are incredibly hard to come by. The UK one penny 1911 in black shade sold for an astonishing $900,000. It's truly remarkable to witness the value that this rare coin commands. In today's market, the fortunate buyer not only acquires a highly coveted numismatic artifact, but also becomes a custodian of an important piece of British history. The UK halfpenny from 1934. 
the UK halfpenny from 1934 is a coin with a fascinating history. It was minted during a significant time in British history and carries immense value both in terms of its historical significance and as a collector's item. During the 1930s, the United Kingdom was grappling with the aftermath of the Great Depression, the country was undergoing economic challenges and the UK half-penny coin was a part of the currency in circulation at the time. I have an original UK half-penny coin from 1934. Let's take a look at the Heritage Auctions website to see if we can find any recent sales of the UK halfpenny from 1934. UK halfpenny from 1934 in excellent condition. It sold for a remarkable value of £500,000 now, please note that the value of coins can fluctuate over time and factors such as condition, rarity, and demand play a significant role in determining their worth. For those interested in collecting coins, it's always a good idea to consult price guidebooks or seek advice from reputable coin dealers, these resources can provide you with valuable information regarding the rarity and value of specific coins. 1929 King George V Shilling Coin Now why is this coin so significant? Well, apart from its striking design and fine craftsmanship, this coin carries a piece of history with it. It was minted during the reign of King George V, one of the longest-serving British monarchs. King George V ruled from 1910 until his passing in 1936. He was a beloved king and his reign witnessed many significant events, including World War I and the Great Depression. Now, let's talk about the value of this particular coin. The value of any coin depends on several factors such as its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. The 1929 King George V shilling coin is considered quite rare which makes it highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Its unique design, featuring a portrait of King George V on the obverse and a crown shield on the reverse, adds to its appeal. Now when it comes to determining the value of such a coin, 1929 King George V shilling coin fetched an impressive price, the winning bid reached $50,000, highlighting the desirability and value placed on this particular coin, however it's important to remember that prices can vary depending on the condition and other factors. The UK 1943 farthing coin. This little piece of history has captured the attention of collectors worldwide. Join me as we explore its fascinating journey and find out just how valuable it is in today's market. The UK 1943 farthing coin holds a significant place in numismatic history. Minted during the tumultuous years of World War II, this bronze coin carries a story of resilience and resourcefulness. The farthing was the smallest denomination of the British pre-decimal currency valued at one-four of a penny. What makes the 1943 farthing so intriguing is that it was never intended to be minted. During the war there was a copper shortage, and the decision was made to strike these coins using steel instead. However, due to a mix-up at the Royal Mint, a small number of farthings were mistakenly minted in bronze instead of steel. The bronze farthing coins were quickly discovered, and most were removed from circulation to be melted down. Now let's talk about the value of the UK 1943 farthing coin. To give you an idea of its worth, we turn to a recent heritage auction. In a live bidding war, a pristine condition, 1943 farthing fetched an astonishing $100,000 to $130,000. The value of the 1943 farthing coin largely depends on its condition and rarity. Coins in excellent condition can command a premium price. Additionally, if a coin has any unique characteristics or variations, its value can increase significantly. This 1927 UK half penny coin, but as you can see, it's in quite a damaged condition. However, that doesn't mean it's not valuable. The UK halfpenny, or halfpenny, was a coin that was in circulation from 1672 until it was demonetized in 1969. The 1927 halfpenny is particularly interesting because it was minted during the reign of King George V, who ruled from 1910 to 1936. Now, let's talk about the condition of this coin. As you can see, it has suffered significant damage over the years. It has scratches, dents, and wear marks, which are typical signs of circulation. These imperfections can impact the value of a coin, but interestingly enough, collectors still find value in coins like this. To give you an idea of its potential value, the coin we found on the Heritage Auction website was also a 1927 UK halfpenny, but it had a similar damaged condition. Despite its flaws, it managed to fetch a significant amount at the auction. It sold for around $78,000 which is quite impressive considering its condition. Now, keep in mind that the value of a coin can vary depending on several factors, such as rarity, demand, 
and the overall condition of the coin. In 1943, the United States mean produced Jefferson nickels in a composition of 55% copper search, 5% silver, and 9% manganese due to the shortage of nickel caused by the war effort. As for the 1943 D. Jefferson nickel in MS-60 plus condition was full steps, it will be an exceptional, rare, and valuable coin. The MS-68 plus grade indicates that the coin is in near-perfect condition, was on the minor imperfections visible under magnification. All steps refers to the clear and complete separation of steps on Monticello building. These rare specimen ended up selling for $25,562. 25 cents with buyer's fee in 2022. Here is 1964 SMS Jefferson Nickel in B68 condition. SMS stands for Special Mint Set, a phenomenal absolute and condition reality worthy of inclusion in the finest. Jefferson Nichols said satin surfaces are silky smooth in texture and lightly toned. In George's champagne gold, police struck and simply delight to behold a rare important find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel collector which ended up selling for $31,200 in 2021. The most valuable two new pence coins are those that are in excellent condition and have been well preserved. These coins can fetch a high price at auctions and are highly sought after by collectors. For instance, the 1971 two new pence coin in uncirculated condition can be worth up to 30,000 pounds, whereas a circulated coin may only be worth a few pence. Now let's talk about the upcoming Heritage Auction where a rare two new pence coin is going up for auction. The coin in question is a 1971 two new pence coin that has been graded by the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation NGC as being in Mint State 66 condition. This means that the coin is in exceptional condition with no visible wear or damage. This rare coin is expected to fetch a high price at auction due to its rarity and exceptional condition. Now here's the 1909 SVDB graded by PCGS at immense state 67 red. If you guys didn't see my recent video, I just picked one of these up. Actually, Brian Hooper sent me this coin. But mine is not as good a condition. It says, because this is a $94,000 penny. This coin is that valuable because they only produce 484,000 of these coins and it has an extremely high grade by PCGS. That mint state 67 red grade will make it super, super valuable. Now you want to look for the 1909S so you want to have that date there on the front with that estimate mark and then on the back on the reverse of the coin you want to look at the bottom and make sure you have those VDB initials. So that's the designer's initials there. So that is a very rare coin even in bad condition mines, not in like really bad condition or anything. But it's still almost basically $1,000 coin. The one that I have this is a $94,000 coin so you'll see how much the values fluctuate based on the grade of the coin. This coin sold on January 12th of 2023, so this is a relatively recent sale, but it does not matter when you're watching this video because a coin like this will always hold value regardless. So this coin was graded by NGC at a proof 66. Now a proof means is that there's a difference in the type of metal they used.